Ka tangi te titi, ka tangi te kaka, ka tangi hoki aho. He mihi ki te kaupapa o te tau, he mihi ki ngā tikanga o kaitiakitanga. Tihei, Māori ora. The plant kingdom is at the centre of life on earth, and you don't need to look very far to understand just how vital plant life is to our own existence and well-being. We know this, but it is easy to take it for granted that forests, ecosystems and farming practices that have existed through the ages will continue as they always have. The reality is that exotic pests and diseases threaten these systems. Some could have destructive outcomes in very short order. In a nutshell, biosecurity is simply this, to be aware of any potential threats and to guard against them. Inside that nutshell, there is a world of complexity, a myriad of pests and diseases from around the world that can completely overwhelm host plants when they land in a new ecosystem that has had no opportunity to develop defences. Bacteria that can decimate industries, viruses that can make produce inedible, insects that can destroy harvests, and invasive plants that can smother ecosystems. New Zealand has a strong biosecurity system. We consider ourselves a team of five million people watching out for these pests and diseases. At its heart is our National Plant Protection Organisation, the Ministry for Primary Industries and its Plant Health and Environment Laboratory. We'd like to invite you to come inside for a look at our laboratory. Responding to any biosecurity threat is based on knowing exactly what organism you are dealing with. Our diagnostic work relies on expertise in all aspects of plant health. It requires tools and techniques from the straightforward to the highly advanced. A lot of samples come through these doors. They come from a wide range of sources, from members of the public, growers, MPI's border staff, investigators and surveillance programs. These lead to the laboratory running 30 to 40,000 tests every year. Being able to import new high value plant varieties is crucial for horticultural industries. The high level quarantine facility we operate is what allows that to happen. As an example of how this works, this strawberry which was imported from the USA will be inspected twice a week for over 16 months. It will undergo a series of diagnostic tests checking for a long list of regulated pathogens, often using the nucleic acid-based test, the PCR. These PCR tests compare the genetic code of an organism against a known reference to see if there is a match. Each test for each pathogen needs to be specifically developed, many of which have been developed and validated in our laboratories. Let's use an example to take a look at the strategies, tools and technologies we work with to protect New Zealand from biosecurity threats. One of the world's most destructive pests, the brown marmorated stink bug, or BMSB for short. Stink bugs are very effective at hiding themselves in small spaces in luggage or cargo. Detector dogs are equally effective at finding them. But they need training using the actual bugs. And these bugs need to be maintained with absolutely no risk of an escape. We maintain them in our high-level quarantine facility. Next in the link, the Ministry runs a surveillance program where traps are set up at 50 high-risk sites around the country. When a suspect is found, it is sent into the lab for an urgent identification. If it's female, it can be dissected to see if it has ever mated or laid eggs. If it had, that would indicate to the team that more intensive action needs to be taken. Our scientists also apply cutting edge technology to help manage the risk. We're investigating using genetic markers that will allow us to trace where in the world a stink bug may have come from. This would give valuable insight to the policy makers who manage our borders. High throughput sequencing is an advanced molecular diagnostic tool. Firstly, the genetic material is extracted from the bug then it goes through a process that reveals its genomic sequence. This is what the scientists use to unravel the hidden genetic information from the BMSB. It takes all these tools to stop pests like the brown marmorated stink bug before they can take a hold in New Zealand. High throughput sequencing opens the door for scientists to answer biological questions about fungi, bacteria, viruses and insects that previously could never be answered. As the National Plant Protection Organisation, it is important to be at the forefront of biosecurity science. That means always looking for opportunities to improve what we do and how we do it. 
and regularly evaluating new technology and tools and making sure we have the skill to get value from them. We provide science advice to government, primary industries and the general public. We work together with our counterparts from other countries and research organisations and regularly provide science training programmes nationally as well as around the Asia-Pacific region. Connecting with such a large community strengthens both our biosecurity capabilities as well as theirs. Our aim is to understand pests and diseases and have systems in place before they arrive in New Zealand. With preparation, the pathogen, insect or plant can be accurately identified and the action plan to deal with it can be swung into place. The complexity of this work, the technology, the systems and the expertise, all of this is focused on one simple objective, to protect plants and protect life.